Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to lube your Dexter Easy Lube axles. Alright, so to do this we're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a grease gun with the appropriate wheel bearing grease, and a jack to jack up each axle. I believe Dexter recommends that you do this every 12,000 miles or tw every 12 months. Um, if your trailer sits for a long time, you might want to do it more often than that. Or if you're, you're loading your trailer very heavy every time you use it, you might want to do it a little bit more often also. All right, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is go ahead and pry off the dust cap with our flathead screwdriver. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and jack up this particular axle. Um, if you don't have the trailer attached to your vehicle, you want to go ahead and chalk the opposite side wheel right now. Um, in my case, the trailer is hooked up to my truck, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere, so I'm not going to do that. Now's a good time to go ahead and check your bearings for any excessive play also. You want to look for some side to side play and make sure the wheel doesn't wobble when you spin it. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and start greasing the axle. What you want to do is hook up your grease gun and while you're pumping, keep spinning the wheel and keep pumping until you start to get some of the new grease out. Now I've heard that that can take up to a tube of grease per wheel, um, but this is the first time I've done this on this particular trailer, so I'm not 100% sure what we're going to have. So we're going to keep pumping until we, uh, we see the new grease. The original grease is black, the new grease I'm using right now is red, so that should be easy to see. Like we're starting to push out some of the old grease. Yep. So every once in a while we'll stop and get some of that old grease out of there. Like we're getting some of the new grease out of there now so we're just about done give it a couple more pumps and that'll be it
Okay, we're good to go. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is go ahead and wipe off the excess grease that's around this. Don't use your finger because I think that edge is pretty sharp. Go ahead and clean all the old grease out of this cap. And pop it back on. That's it. Pretty simple. Go ahead and repeat it for however many other um, hubs that you have. Alright, thanks for watching.